Hello there everybody, this is Graham, also known as the Collector 75. Welcome back to another Transformers Action Masters review. Uh, this one is Sprocket with the Attack Cruiser. Um, I'm going to say right off, I'd have preferred it if this hadn't been Sprocket. This had actually been Action Master Hound. I know they never made one. But I thought this would have suited this a lot more lot better. Because obviously it's some sort of Jeep uh, type car. And I just thought that would have been cool. But never mind, it's Sprocket. And... Here is the Action Master Sprocket. He is an original Action Master. He wasn't based on any other particular like Generation 1 toy or anything like that. And to be honest, um, he's not too bad. He's obviously um, at some time or another probably transformed into some kind of helicopter or at least maybe a jet or something like that. Um, I think that was always cool about these is that the original ones is trying to figure out what they did transform into at one particular time. I think that's quite cool. Uh, right, so anyway, this is the attack cruiser that he comes with uh, you've got to be careful on this one because right from the start you can see the gold plastic uh, I've had no trouble with the gold plastic on this one as yet um, but saying that I'm pretty certain that could change at any particular time uh, as a Jeep then you can of course put sprocket in the driver's seat uh, whichever one you want that to be and of course if you had another action master you could just put another one in the side there uh, he doesn't really have any other particular ports where you can uh, put any one hanging off the side of it or anything. He does have a few little holes uh, here and even one down there for some reason that you can just see just down there. Uh, that Maybe you could put other Action Master guns or anything like that. Kind of like with the Minicon ports. Uh, you can't really take these guns off and put them on these ones because then they're at funny angles. Uh, the same with Sprocket holding them as well. He does have a problem holding these because uh, then they're off at the same because it kind of looks like some sort of um, bazooka type gun which is pretty cool anyway right let's uh, just give you a quick 360 of this uh, all the wheels move which is pretty cool it does have some cool headlights on the front there and just come around and then that's the back where you can see a lot of what he's going to transform into hiding around the side Right, so to transform this, quite easy. Again, we just flip these down. These are going to come some guns in helicopter mode. These side panels flip round and then just lock into position around the corner here. Let's take that gun off. That's going to lock around there. And then with these, oh, sorry, we'll come to this tail section first. Just rotate that up. Just be careful because it is all gold plastic on the back here. Rotate the little wheels in like so. Oh, you do the same on the front ones as well. I just forgot about those. Like that. So that gives him a little landing base. I suppose that's pretty cool. Then with the rotor blades, just sort of like separate these. They do twirl quite easy. And then with these, you're just going to carefully, and I say carefully because you might notice that it's a little black around it. When I got this, um, it already it was just a hairline snap, and so I tried fixing it and it made it worse. And so I tried melting all the plastic into, into place. So I think that's them drilling downstairs. Um, anyway, that's where I tried uh, melting the plastic back into place. Um, it didn't quite well. I got most of the black off, but obviously not totally everything. I promise that is them drilling downstairs, it's not me or nothing. Um, anyway, so you fold them down, and then we're going to put these little guns that just sort of fit on the side here. They're not going to go in too well, but they do fit on there, like that. And then we have his attack cruiser, and you can put sprocket in there, in the driver's seat or whatever. And you can imagine that sort of like taking off. It actually looks pretty cool, if I'm honest with you. Um, it's not too bad actually, it's one of the better ones, oh, I think, looking wise, especially in this mode. Um, yeah, I'm quite impressed with that actually. That is actually pretty damn cool, I like it. Right, so this has been Graham, the Collector 75. Uh, I hope you liked this review, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.